Deb here, and I've mentioned that I have the best friends in the world, and one of my friends gave me a Ricky Nelson paper doll. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is so important to me because, as you know, I love dolls, I love celebrity dolls, and I love Ricky Nelson. Um, hopefully you know who he is, and you've heard his music, and if not, Google him, because he had one of the best voices ever. Like Elvis, he could sing anything, country, rock and roll, ballads to make you swoon, and he's one of the best rockers ever. And then he, he did country in the 70s, mostly. Um, Ricky, later known as Rick, but he's always Ricky to me. Uh, he was born May 8th, 1940, and he died tragically in a plane crash in December of 85, New Year's Eve, 1985. Um, oh, he did so much in that short life that, well, anyway, let's get to the dolls. <laughs> Here's a picture. It, the dolls were made by Whitman in 1959. It's copyrighted by Ozzie Nelson, his father. Uh, oh, that, gosh, I left off the fact the Nelson family did a TV show, Ozzie and Harriet, and it was just wholesome and fun, and hopefully they're in reruns, but if they're really worth watching because they're fun. They're just sweet, family-oriented. Um, Ricky, of course, had, uh, what, five children? And Nelson, Matthew and Gunnar Nelson, they had a group. I don't think they're together anymore. I mean, they're together. They're brothers. They're twins. Uh, Tracy Nelson, a fine actress in her own right. And Sam, Sam Nelson sounds a lot like Ricky, and he looks a lot like him. Rick Nelson was one of the handsomest men I've ever seen. So let's get to the dolls. Sorry. I'm sitting in a different spot because arthritis is really taking over. And this, if I sit here, I don't have to move as much stuff. So, so I have to look off camera once in a while. The dolls, they come in two, two dolls. Did I mention they're from 1959? So they're in pretty good shape for 62 year old. Uh, paper dolls. Look at them. And then he came. It's they're cut, and I know that the collectors like the uncut dolls. I like them cut. I I I like to hold them. I like to. Um, I'm trying to decide how to um, preserve them. I want to put them in a scrapbook, but um, obviously you can't glue them or anything. So, and somebody mentioned once scanning them and but I don't have a scanner so anyway here are the two dolls and I'll just show you he it looks like most of the outfits are here because um I don't know those pajamas oh I love this cowboys in the 50s and 60s cowboys were all the rage I have some cowboy paper dolls I might share with you sometime um well, there's just so many, so many outfits. I should have picked some out specifically to share with you. Oh, I wonder what that's about. I bet this is like for Halloween or something, and maybe it's from an episode of the, of the series. His parents were wonderful singers as well. Oz, Harriet Hillman, I think. Was that her name? Before she married Ozzy, she was a band singer, quite good. She was in a Fred and Ginger movie. Um, I'll put it in the comments when I think of it. Oh, but she's a really good actress herself. And the show just, I don't know. I think I was one of those rare blessed people who grew up in a Ozzy Harriet, Leave it to Beaver kind of world. And so it really speaks to me, and and I know I was blessed because it's rare. Anyway, speaking of rare, the
The Rare Talent of Ricky Nelson, Rare Paper Dolls, and the rare friend who gave these to me so generously. Um, boy, I'm a blessed person. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like, subscribe, comment, and follow me on Instagram, the great Rick Nelson in paper doll form. Thanks. Toodles.